Sorry about that, guys. We have a little bit of a continu continuity issue. Um, I ran out of battery filming, and I was just cruising around, not even paying attention. Anyway, I've skipped ahead, and I've cut four already um, down to size. They're all milled down to size, and I was just breaking out the other batch when I noticed you were off. So I have no idea where you left off. I'll have to find out during editing. Anyway... So I got the four cut down to size. Here I got <coughs> the other five. And what I'm gonna do, or what I did do, is um, I ganged them all together and I cut them on the on the horizontal uh, bandsaw to get most of the excess off. And then came over to the mill. I wrote a quick little program in the proto track to go ahead and cut them down to size. You know, taking a bunch of roughing passes. Um, I'm in no hurry. So I'm just setting one up, you know, going at it. Um, so let me grab a tape here. Where's my scriber? I lose everything. I'm doing is I'm cutting our final dimensions 30.7 inches so I am cutting these to about 30 and 3 quarter leaving me about 50 60 thou to play with That's how I did the first batch, and that was fine. It worked out great. Check these and grab you. I'm just uh, setting them all up here, ganging them together. Oh, you know what I did four before, that's why I gotta open this up. Oh, is it gonna fit? Yes, barely. Alright. So, I'm just ganging them all up together. At the wrong end. Jeez. Okay, now I'm going to bring them over to the horizontal. I'll set you up first. How about that? Here's our stack. Come in. Live right there. Okay. 
kind of in my spot. So. Scribe mark is on the other side of the stack. Yes. Oh boy. Getting kind of late. I'm not really paying attention anymore. It's probably not a good thing. So I got them all matched up there, Ugh, locked in, go look at the other end.
go. a bird's eye view a bit. <clears throat> so just take one of our shafts and line them all up the same way. Goes on top of our <clears throat> screw jack. You see all that? Nope. So sitting on top of the screw jack. Just tension up a little bit here. touch our stop tighten her down and we're ready to go give you a fly in here there's a stop just touch in there screw jack and our setup So we're all set to go. I have the uh, Prototrack all programmed. So essentially all I have to do is come over here and press go. And we are going to be good to go. Get you in there. So I'll do one from afar and then we'll come in. Spindle speed here. And I'm running about 800 RPM, 5 inches a minute. And that seems to be cutting absolutely fine.
Scout's going to come for a finishing pass and do it uh, as a climb cut right here. And that's it. I mean, uh, it's a very simple program. Essentially, we have uh, the tool, half inch diameter end mill. Here's the end of our part. The end of our part's 30.7. So, put in a quarter of an inch to get to the center of this tool. Uh, the final dimension we're looking for is 30.95. Just going back and forth, half an inch um, off the center of the part. And I'm starting, assuming I have 60 thou to cut. Um, so I'm just taking it in steps of 10 thousands. Um, whenever I do one of these programs, I just give myself a little diagram here because it's not that easy to go back and edit the prototrack because there's no display. Um, there's just lines, there's no graphics or anything. So essentially, I'm going to start here at 31.01 .01, absolute. I'm going to come up rough, I'm going to stay in that same plane because I only want a rough or conventional mill. Come over 10, cut, over 10, cut, over 10, cut, over 10, cut, over 10, and then at this point I come the last 10 and climb and finish the part and then we're right on size. So uh, I'll knock these out off camera. You don't have to see that again, I don't think, um, unless I see something else to, to film. And then uh, we'll come back and set up to chamfer them all. All right, we got all nine shafts milled to the length now. And this is the last one. I left it right in place. Now we're going to go for that 45. So the way the shaft is, <clears throat> if you kind of look on it from the edge, uh, they want a 45 on all all four corners can't draw that in 3D but you get my point so we're going to put a chamfer all the way around on this side, that side, that side and that side obviously we can't do that in one shot um, so we're going to do it so uh, we're going to program it so we can do it repeatedly and we don't have to worry about it. Um, we're going to do it so that we come in, we're going to do one, we're going to rotate, do two, three, four, etc. So I have a 45 degree end mill that I got recently off of eBay because I found myself doing uh, chamfers a lot. There you go. It's brand new. I haven't used any projects yet. 45 degree chamfer end mill. Um, all right, it's flat on the bottom, inch and a half at its widest. At the largest diameter, uh, what is it at its smallest here? About half an inch. So I'll show you how I'm going to do this. Let me go ahead and get this set up. There's a collet in there. It's not going to work. So it's got a three-quarter inch shank, three-quarter inch collet. Now this chamfer we want on here, <clears throat> you can see what I'm doing here. So again, let's look from the side. Here's our piece. We're going to do this 45 degree chamfer, right? So it's coming in 45 thou. <laughs> yeah, you can see that, okay? And we're going to do that all the way around. So I'm not going to take that in one pass. It's a brand new cutter. I got no reason to go fast and be real aggressive. So I'm going to come in here at a couple of steps. One thing to remember when you're cutting a chamfer and 
you're looking at your step over, um, the, you may take this, let's say we took this in three passes of 15 thou each, right? 15, 15, and 15. The second pass and the third pass are actually taking off a whole lot more material than the first pass because it's cutting on the, on the hypotenuse of that triangle. So it's something to keep in mind that uh, as your step overs, you actually m might want to weigh them a little heavier on the beginning and then lighten them up as you keep going. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, 45 total, so I may take this and probably 15 and then probably 10 from there. Uh, that would be 15, 25, 35, 45. And I'm not going to climb this at all. Um, I don't think this cutter wants to cut climb. I don't think it has the, the clearance to do it. Um, so I'm going to do these all in the conventional direction. Alright. So, here's our part. Here's our setup. Alright, we're going to be living down here somewhere. And... I know it's inch and a half up here, I know half an inch down here, so I'm going to set my thinking of we're at one inch diameter of a tool, right, because it's on an angle, you don't want to have to worry about that. So I know the end of our part is 30.7 inches, right, so I know that the first touch, and I can set this with the Z, and I'll show you how I'm going to do that here in a second, or the quill rather is if I look at it from there we go from the top again right I'm gonna add this big old cutter here I'm gonna assume this is one inch okay and I'll set that so where this location is if this is 30.7 this is half an inch more right because radius of the tool so we're at 31.2 so my first cut's gonna be at 31.2 And I'll show you here the programming. I don't know if this is interesting to anybody. Ugh. So again, this is a Prototrack Plus from about 1992, thereabouts. It doesn't have a graphical screen, which is kind of a pain. Uh, but it's working fine. I don't really have any issues. All right. So I'm going to keep programming because I may want to come do this other stuff. So I'm going to do, I'm going to do a mill and um, that's going to continue, isn't it? I can start here. No, I can't do that. Um, hmm. Gotta go ahead and delete that event because that's not what I wanted to do. I know my other thing ended it at event 18, and that puts it there. So I think the first thing I want to do is maybe I'll, I'll put ourselves somewhere. say 31.3 and Y. run that real quick. Yeah, that's what I thought. I don't think I can start that way. Hmm.
Well, let's try this. 31.2. Did I do that right? Did I just screw that up? I think I just screwed that up, didn't I? You guys are watching, telling me I screwed that up. Alright, I'll go edit it here in a second. Um, I'm not sure if that's far enough away. Let's run that. Okay. Alright, so what I was just looking at, that minus 0.8, I wasn't sure if it's going to be far enough away. So I just threw the quill down until it's about halfway down this tool, right, because that's one inch roughly. And then in this position, are we clear of the part? And we're plenty clear of the part. Okay, so let's keep going from here. That's good. Alright, so from this point, we're going to go no incremental, and we'll go to 0.8 in the Y, no corner radius, we'll still go 5 inches a minute. And I always draw these little pictures here, um, let me show you what I'm going to do. It's going to be... 31.2. So I'm going to come up at 31.2, come back down, step over, 15 thou, come up, come down, step over, 10 thou, up, over, another 10. What is that? 15, 25, 35. And this will be 45 and we'll end there. Okay, so right now I am uh, programmed, I'm at this point, the one I'm programming is to come up here, I'm going to come back down. So we've done the first one, we've, we're up here, now we got to come back down. So we'll go mill, don't go anywhere in the, z in the X, Go minus 0.8 in the Y. No corner radius, 5 inches a minute. Now we're back down here. Now, oops, oh, sorry, we're down here again. Let's still go over 15. So I'm going to go minus 15 thou incrementally. Nowhere in the Y. No corner radius, 5 inches a minute. Now we're over here. Now we'll go come up and come back. Now we're up. Uh, we're up here. Let's come back down. Now we're down again. Now we'll come over the 10. Now we're over here. Now we got to go up and come back. I always kind of stick my thumb where we are. <clears throat> We're up. Let's come back. OK. 
Okay. We're back down here again. Let's come over. Now we're over here. Move my thumb. We gotta go up, come back. Um back. So we went up, came back. Now we got to step over our last 10. So now we're over here and we're going to do our final pass. There we go. So now that we got that, I always leave my little notes over here so I can see them. And I just wrote a note that says we want to start at uh, event number 19. And I always do dry runs. Um, it's too easy to make a mistake, especially with the camera. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and run this. That's definitely not right. Oh, okay, that's how we did it. Because our first event was uh, an event to get us somewhere. Hmm. So we're doing this dry run. We're gonna figure out how we're gonna do this. It's going back and forth. We're going back and forth in the Y now. And it's gonna step over. finish the dry run and then uh, right, I got you on a close-up view we'll see if that works or if it's gonna be too shaky um, <clears throat> so after that dry one I run I realized I just started at the wrong one so we're gonna start at event 20 and that'll put us in the right place what I'm gonna do now is figure out where that exact one inch depth is or one inch fake diameter cutter so um, I got us at 31.2 which would be 30.7 plus half an inch for the radius of a, of a one inch diameter. And I'm gonna come down and I'll come and establish that height by just nicking that surface, just touching that surface. And it's clean. Um, I don't really even have a burr on there. So I'll show you how it goes.
at zero. And I just barely, barely nicked it. I don't know if you can see that, but I just barely touched it. So we're going to go ahead and, and run this and see how it goes. Let's see if I can leave you there. Um, if you're getting too messy, I'm going to have to move you. So we're going to come. Let me set this to zero. Not set it, but move it to zero. Alright, let's see how it goes. That's it, that's <clears throat> how'd we do? Looks pretty nice to me. Hell of a nice cat, actually. Is that right?
guys can read that. So it looks good. So we'll go ahead and flip. Um, I noticed I can cut two more lines out of that code because um, the first couple are getting us in the right position so I can start even sooner or uh, do it even quicker rather. Take this, we'll just index it, put it against our stop, tighten them up. down to zero. Oh man. Camera? Alright, I'll go ahead and finish this one up, all four sides, and then bring it back and just show you the end result. It's kind of boring. Alright, so I did uh, the other sides of the same first one. I haven't taken it out yet. I'll take it out right now and see what it looks like. I have a feeling it's going to look pretty nice. Pretty nice to me. It's a pretty nice finish. So you can get it to catch the L4 corners chamfered or sides chamfered. Alright, I got a bunch more to do. I'm gonna do them. Catch you later.